Want to make your Excel reports more interactive? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add and format slicers or buttons to filter your data in the reports and do it dynamic. Let's get started. So here we have our table and first of all, we need to convert it in official Excel table. To do it, we have two options. First, using the shortcut key, Ctrl T, or you can go in is insert table and you will receive the same result. So you see the range is selected and my table has headers and click on OK. Here we have the format. We can go to table styles in table design, tap and choose any style we would like to have. And now I will put the first row a little bit bigger, then click inside of the table, go to table design and insert slicer and we will choose region, country, product and let's say type and we click on OK. And here we have them. Let me select everything by Ctrl A, then move all of them on the top left corner, then by dragging here, I will put it a little bit smaller, then I will adjust this as well, And then I click outside and then again select the first one and put it in the top right corner. Then select everything by clicking Ctrl A and go to slicer, then align, align, distribute horizontally and then again align and align top. Now also we can change here the, the height. So how we can do it, we can change in only one slicer by going to adding columns, height, width, or we can select by holding shift, select another one and select both of them by changing something here, for example, this, this way. Or adding here two columns, for example, select only one this one and add the second column if we would like to do it. I will go back to the first one. You can format all of them by clicking on one of it, click Ctrl A and then go to Slicer tab and from here choose the format. Let's say this one. This way you will have the same view. Now let's see how it works. So you can choose a pack and you see that it is selected as well here, Vietnam, and you see, and so on, for example, T as well. And now to remove the filters, all you need is to go one by one from each slicer and click here to remove it. But also what you can do is that you can click inside of the table, go to data and here click on clear and it will be done. If you don't have them here, you can right click and add it by this way. And now very interesting option we have here with this button. So let's say that we would like to see everything except for example, Argentina. So when we click on it, we will see only Argentina, but what we would like is to accept it. So what we need is to click on this button, then select Argentina. And we see that everything is filtered except Argentina. Another thing what we can do is that imagine that you would like to select two buttons at the same time or several buttons. So in this case, let me put it back. So imagine that you selected LATAM and you would like to select a part of Atom, EMEA as well, but you cannot know. So you need to hold shift and select LATAM or you can click on this button and select LATAM as well. Now let me put it a little bit better and I go view here and select off grid lines this way. Also what we can do is we can add date here. So instead of going 
table design and adding a slicer with date which will be this way you can see it is complicated to understand uh, where is each month and so on so I will delete it and what we will do we will add another column here which will name let's say year months and now we will use function text the value will be our date and then comma and the format will be the year we would like in this format and then the months in number in this case we need at 2m close quotation mark bracket and click on enter and then when we will go to table design click on insert slicer and select this year months column and click on ok we will see it this way and see that it is an ascending order it's really cool right so this way you can use it as well so let me put it here for example we can add it top down a little bit smaller we can change the format again and we see that it is this way or we can change the columns and add two columns and to have more visibility and check anyone what we would like we would like select much more and this way cool right and the last thing what we can do is we can format all of these slicers in order to hide the header I select one slicer then ctrl a select everything right click and scroll down and slicer setting and from here what we will do we will click off the header display and click on ok and we see it will be this way and that's all thank you for watching